Day three, it's sun and fun, it's Friday, and holy cow, there's a ton of people already. It's not even, uh, it's a little after 10 a.m. You guys can see, look at the lines for the tickets. It's a good day, it's a little windy, but a uh, beautiful day out. A lot of ultralights are flying right now, and other airplanes. Let's go take a look here. Start of the day, kind of junction here live Friday, 2017. Oh, Wayne and I, we just stopped at Sunset Swings to see if maybe this would fit in my hangar. Sunday afternoon, and we can rest here. What do you think, Wayne? <laughs> yeah, and he's drinking his coffee. So we can have some lemonade, coffee. I don't have beer in my hangar, but uh, I think this would probably work pretty well. It's, it's comfortable. It swings easy. Best part. And there's a pony to love here. Huh. Best part, dude, is you make the chair look good. I, man, I, I make it look good. It, <laughs> it makes me look good, too, though. We work together here. We work together. This is what aviation is all about. It's a small world. Wayne, been flying for uh, Seaborn and Anguilla natives here and they actually know each other have seen each other over the years and uh that's really what aviation is about and we just sat down at these uh swings and here we are talking to each other about different people they know it's pretty pretty fun interesting so out of the blue yep I'll put some old pictures of uh, a old picture of Wayne and I together and we used to fly up in Canada together and we come up with our own songs and everything. My name's uh, Darren Hart and i um, with the American Legend Aircraft Company. Well this is our new model it's the uh, Super Legend HP and then we put another XP on there for extra performance or expedition and what we did is we made it more of the backcountry type flyer and it has the uh, the big tires, the Alaska Bush wheel tires, and has a new suspension system for Magme, and uh, the gear is in a different position. And then we extend the flaps and uh, made larger tanks. There's 40 gallons of fuel that's available, and uh, send the, the uh, ailerons out and square the tips off and put a bigger rudder in it. So uh, really enhanced it. And then we did the uh, the uh, extended baggage area. Uh, has the upper and lower extended baggage. Well, it's a beautiful looking airplane and it looks a little bit bigger than a J3, but what's the horsepower that you guys are running on this? Well, it's the 180 horse Titan, so uh, it's pretty remarkable what it can do. It takes off in uh, about 30 to 50 feet. And then, uh, <laughs> so, uh, and then, uh, you know, and then the, of course, the landing is always the capability of the airplane with the pilot, too. So, uh, but uh, it's pretty impressive. It does a good job, and uh, yeah. with 180 horsepower, you can get a climb rate of about 2,000 feet per minute. And the tail, I noticed the tail wheel. What, is that a Alaska bush wheel? Yeah, that's the, the mini bush wheel, they call it. Okay. I thank you so much for talking about it. Talk to you later. All right, appreciate it. Thanks. Anyway, we're in an Eclipse jet. They're made in uh, Albuquerque, New Mexico. For probably 10 years or so, I've always flown out to Albuquerque, and I can see the plant being built and everything. Really? Yeah. So uh, this is what he has at the airport? Here's is Pete. Yeah. Pete, uh, won't you explain what this airplane is? Sure. The, uh, this is an Eclipse SE, or a special edition. And this aircraft is a remanufactured uh, aircraft from the original 2007-2008 pool of aircraft. And what we do is we take that airplane and make it a 550. So there's nothing missing from this that our current brand new production airplanes have. Uh, this aircraft has uh, the latest in the ISNS uh, uh, equipment. The uh, auto throttles work in this airplane. Uh, we have anti skid brakes. Uh, and it has the ability, we'll have ADS-B and a whole bunch of other uh, options to come, but the upgraded avionics, uh, you have to think about like a computer, uh, you know, you can only put so much computer and all of a sudden, you know, the processor can't handle anymore. So that that's essentially what happened with the earlier avionics. And so what we did in the 550 was talk to ISNS and get more computing power so that as we want to add more options, we have the ability to process that. Uh, option and, and make it work. Uh, you can see the on start uh, buttons. I mean, to turn this in, airplane on, 
uh, after the batteries are up and running, basically you turn the uh, switch to on, start, and the computers do everything. It starts the engine, so it doesn't matter hot or temperatures or whatever else. It, it manages everything for you. If there's any problems, it'll shut it off before you'd have the ability to even turn the turn the knob for you. So it's great, great simple system. Uh, the other systems in the airplane are essentially your co-pilot. They allow you uh, to focus on flying and uh, take care of the ancillary things that you you know you might have to do. Uh, it's a it's a phenomenally fun plane to fly. It's very fast and it's very very fuel efficient. You're burning what some light twin non-pressurized airplanes burn, and you're going twice as fast. And you're able to go to 41,000 feet in the aircraft. So, so 41,000 feet service ceiling. What's the uh, MMO? MMO on this is uh, is a six uh, four. Mark, okay. Mark point six four. And what's the gross weight and passenger capacity? Uh, gross weight is 6,000 pounds takeoff, 6,040 6, ramp weight. Yeah, a pilot and five passengers uh, is what you can have in the airplane. Well, I appreciate your time and uh, this beautiful airplane. It's uh, actually very roomy inside. Uh, you guys need to take a look if you're looking for a, a small entry level jet uh, for a family. This is probably the aircraft to get. Thanks, Pete. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Yep.